Roman line. And uh, we actually had uh, one of the Demos employees on the Alex Jones Nightly News after. And, of course, he denied everything. From my perspective, it, it seemed like he was just working at the lower level. He's got no idea what the overall organization is about. Although he did admit that Demos is funded by the British government. So, of course, that's going to have an influence on what they're allowed to do and what that, what kind of programs they're allowed to bring to schools and introduce to the curriculum. Yep. But one more thing, Sorry, Brian, Paul. and we've got a few minutes before we end here. Yeah. It's interesting that we did an article on these common purpose promo videos, which were on YouTube a couple of years ago. Um, really downright creepy stuff. They had shots of, they were talking about common purpose, then they cut to shots of people involved in the program. You know, wide-eyed, looked completely drugged out of their gourds, looked like they were brainwashed. I wrote an article saying, look at this, this is weird, this is creepy. Lo and behold, the YouTube account related to these videos has now been deleted. So they yeah. seem... A, I mean, Common Purpose had a thing on their website recently saying, you know, attacking you, basically saying what you say is all rubbish. But it's very interesting when you point out these things, they seem to get very nervous and start to remove material. Is that is that the case well, from what your experience? Yeah, that is absolutely correct. But let's look at this on a positive side. If these people have nothing to hide, they should be very proud of all their material up. The, the fact that when you when you lift the stone, you shine the spotlight on them, they start to backtrack, instantly tells you they're up to no good. So I, I'm, I'm delighted when stuff gets taken down because what the government is doing for free is telling us that we're beginning to look in the right areas. We're beginning to look in the right direction. And just to come back to Demos very quickly, um, I'm really glad that you mentioned Demos is a mark organization and it is right next to the British government. It, it's a policy um, creation um, think tank. It has advised Labour, it's advised the Liberal Democrats and now it's interwoven into the, conserv the so-called Conservative government and yes you're absolutely right, Julia Middleton linked to Demos. So everywhere we now turn where the country, Britain and America is being ripped apart, it's being done because the Marxist ideology has been let loose inside the country. Well, we've got very, very brave American men and women serving their country in the American armed forces, and they think they're out there on the front line defending their country. What is actually going on is that the Marxists have put their people in power straight into Congress, straight into the Senate, and in Britain, straight into Westminster. We know who these people are. In Britain, we certainly know who they are. And all we've got to do is remove them. Is it possible? I'm going to say it's going to start to happen very quickly. And the beauty of it is that initially, I think things will get a little bit ugly, but the longer we keep it peaceful, the faster the truth comes out and the quicker these people start running. You only had to see the fear on Liam Fox's face when he started to be exposed in the press. So if you want to know how to hurt these people, how to get rid of them, you've got to name them, you've got to get your you've you've got to get their photographs into the media, onto the the internet. And we've got to name them for what they are. They are dangerous criminals. They're Marxists. Many of them are child abusers, certainly in the British political circles. And we need to, to expose them for what they really are. If we do that, we can overcome what's happening. And just to conclude, Brian, give people the websites. To, uh, tell them how they can get involved with the British Constitution Group, UK Column, etc. OK. Well, the UK column is a newspaper, is a voluntary newspaper, but we're reporting um, um, on what's happening in the country and we're analysing it. And that is simply www.ukcolumn.org. 
O-R-G. Uh, the British Constitution Group, which is showing how our common law and constitution is being undermined, is www.thebc group, all one word, thebcgroup.org.uk. And if, if you go to either of those sites, um, you'll start to see what we're about. And if you're interested in common purpose, uh, I have another site which is called cpexposed.com, www.cpexposed.com. Um, that is going to get a big update fairly shortly, but there's a lot of information on Common Purpose. And can I just lastly say that this coming Saturday, the British Constitution Group has, has got a big talk in London in which we are going to be exposing the traitors in Westminster, and in the evening at half past five, there are there are big demonstrations planned by uh, Anonymous and Occupy London, and these are uh, people who have now decided to come out on the streets and protest against the criminals in Parliament. So I doubt if much of it will come out on mainstream press, but I hope um, Paul and, and Alex... Um, the Alex Jones Show will we'll cover some of that event. OK, Brian Gerrish, we'll get this interview on YouTube, be seen by tens of thousands of people, we'll get the information out. Uh, really appreciate you joining me this morning, and you've got my email address as soon as you want to come on again, just shoot me an email, and uh, we'll get you on again with Alex. Brian Gerrish, thank you very much. Thank you. OK, there goes Brian Gerrish, UK column... Org. We're going to go to a video now before we get our next guest on, and this is of a, uh, an event in London of which Brian Gerrish was a speaker um, concerning the state child abduction issue. Uh, I believe it was in Trafalgar Square. So we're going to go to this interview for a few minutes, then we're going to come back with our guest, and we're going to get a bit weird. It's going to be a topic that's rarely covered on the Alex Jones show, but we're going to get Tony Topping on. UFO researcher going to cover a host of controversial subjects. So now we go to this Brian Gerrish clip. Stay tuned. InfoWarsMoneyBomb.com. We'll be back in a few minutes. I not believe it. Until families, mums, dads, partners began to bring documentation which showed overwhelmingly, uh, without any doubt, that what we were seeing happen in courts were that was that children were being taken away from their parents. And some of you will be thinking, well, they must have done something wrong. They must have hurt their children, or they must have been dangerous, or they must have had mental illness. Well, certainly for some families that's true. But what began to interest us is when we started to see that children were taken away from perfectly good, loving mums and dads on perjury false evidence, false accusations, false documentation, court documents with no official court stamp and no signature by a, a judge. We started to find out that the police were collaborating with the courts and social services in order to take children away from their parents. And if you ask me what's happening to the children when they're taken away from their parents, they're being abused. And if you don't know what that means, it can mean that just psychological abuse, they're given a rough time. And for some of them it means they're sexually abused. And I didn't believe this either until I started to listen to some of these mums and dads and I started to look at the evidence. And then we started to realise that some of these children disappear into the system. And you may wonder how they can disappear. So I've got a question. Is the BBC present today? No. Oh, 
are any of the major newspapers present today? No. Do we have any of the mainstream media present? No. So we have a rally in central London where people are warning that the children are being taken and there is not one single representative of mainstream media. Can I ask if there are any members of parliament here? Is Mr John Hemming in the audience perhaps? Are there any MPs? Are there any councillors? I've just been told that Mr John Hemming gave his apology, so I'll say he is a man who's starting to do some things. But the reason this is going on is because there is a massive media clampdown which says when we start to talk about what is happening to children and how they are being snatched by the state, you cannot get a single article into the papers. There is not a single documentary on mainstream TV. And if you want to know what's happening in the courts, you have to go into the court with the parents, because the courts are secret courts. Never mind what the law lords say, Judge Judge and Mr Mumby, if you look at what is happening in the family courts in Britain, they are secret courts. The public is not allowed in, there are no juries, and the press, if they are allowed in at all, are told by the judges what they can and cannot report. These are unlawful courts. They are unlawful at common law under the British Constitution and they are in fact administrative courts or statute law courts. And the fact there is a single judge who may... Hundreds of nations have fallen to tyranny in the last century alone. This is our last chance to not relive history. As we're finishing off this agenda, uh, they'll be pulling the rug from underneath Americans at home. They have tremendous influence on our president and Congress, and they really are calling the shots. I think it's incumbent upon all of us as American citizens to pay attention. Fall of the Republic identifies the enemies of our nation. The criminal offshore cartel hell bent on destroying sovereignty and on its ashes constructing world government. Tim Geithner, Bernanke, they're arsonists. They're asking for more matches. And the Congress is saying, who do we make the check out to? Today seems like nobody does care. And right now in Washington, D.C., we have seen a fall of the Republic. Get your copy of Fall of the Republic on DVD at Infowars.com or watch it online right now in super high quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. Welcome back. It's the Infowars Money Bomb Marathon live. Now approaching half ten in the UK. The guys in the office, some of them have had some sleep, some haven't. Alex Jones is going to be back soon. Um, Infowars Money Bomb Dot com. I see we're already at 215,000, so we've got several hours left remaining of this 24-hour broadcast, and we're hoping to get up there somewhere close to the 500,000 mark. I know a lot of the money isn't counted until after it comes in, so it's really important that you support us. As I wrote in my article a few days ago, unlike Media Matters, unlike the big liberal leftist organizations we don't get half a million dollar five hundred thousand dollar five million dollar checks from the likes of george soros we're not funded by the carnegie institute we don't force people to pay license fees for content they may not even want with government backing it up like the bbc 